You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed sincere wishes of a speedy recovery to the U.S. President Donald J. Trump and First Lady Melania Trump after testing positive for the novel coronavirus COVID-19. His Majesty the King wished the U.S. President's health and wellness to continue leading the efforts of the U.S. to combat the pandemic worldwide for the benefit of all humanity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa expressed sincere wishes of a speedy recovery to the U.S. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump after testing positive for the novel coronavirus COVID-19. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his full confidence that the world is capable of overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic with more collective action and solidarity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the UN General Assembly online high level meeting to celebrate the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he expressed the Kingdom's appreciation for the UN's efforts to preserve international stability and security, praising its constructive role in supporting the countries of the world to implement their programs and achieve prosperity. The Minister affirmed the Kingdom's support to all efforts that aim at eliminating weapons of mass destruction and their means of delivery and strengthening cooperation with the international community and with the competent authorities to limit the proliferation of these weapons. He noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain shares the International Atomic Energy Agency's concern over the Islamic Republic of Iran exceeding the limits of the enriched uranium stockpile that it is permitted to possess under the nuclear agreement signed between the P5 plus 1 and Iran in 2015. Dr. Zayani reiterated the Kingdom's call upon the international community to adopt a unified global strategy to limit the spread of nuclear weapons and weapons of mass destruction. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'al bin Nasser Limbarak, and CEO of the Electricity and Water Authority, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, held virtual meetings with members of the International Monetary Fund mission. During the meeting, the minister indicated that Bahrain, based on the directives of the wise leadership, is steadily moving forward with the implementation of infrastructure projects that form the basis of the process of supporting economic development and urban growth. The meeting falls within the framework of the periodic meetings of the concerned authorities in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the International Monetary Fund, with the aim of discussing and reviewing the most important projects related to electricity and water in Bahrain. During the meeting, they reviewed the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain represented by the Electricity and Water Authority in developing and upgrading the efficiency of the electricity and water sector, the sustainable development of procedures, the use of modern technology, and the best international practices. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,362 active cases with 634 new recoveries and 429 registered new cases as well as two deaths. 140 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 283 are contacts of active cases and six are travel related. The deceased were a 90 and an 81 year old male citizens. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.